A section of Interstate 275 is now renamed in honor of a police officer who died trying to stop a chase. And Local 12's Genesis Snarls gives us a first look at the officer Kaya L. Grant Memorial Highway there in Springdale. A moment two years in the making. This sign officially proclaims part of 275 in Springdale as the officer Kaya L. Grant Memorial Highway. She had the spark about her that made you want to be around her. Springdale officer Kaya Grant died in the line of duty in March of 2020. She was hit by a driver she and other officers were trying to stop. The best way I can put this into perspective is kind of an arc, just like any kind of emotional thing you go through. There's all the different range of emotions. Initially, there's the, the sadness, the denial, the anger about what happens, and eventually that turns into something different. While the pain of losing a beloved officer will never go away, this sign made possible by House Bill 33 is one way her legacy will live on. It was a great day that we finally got this across the finish line and an even better day when the governor signed the bill and so now here we are. What I'm really hoping for is as people drive through town and they see Kaya's name on the sign that they, if they don't know what happened that they'll look her up. Two years later, Springdale Police Chief Thomas Wells still gets emotional. It is hard because, I mean, I get off the highway every single day where that happened. I see exactly where she was killed every single day I come to work. But it's, it changes the perspective. Like today when I was driving to work, I thought this is the last time I'm going to drive to work on Interstate 275. From here on out, I want to be on the Kaya Grant Memorial Highway. And that felt really cool. In Springdale, Genesis Narrows, Local 12 News. In the coming weeks, you will see those signs on 275. Leaders, though, are still finalizing the exact locations with ODOT. The man who ran over Kaya Grant, Terry Blankenship, pleaded guilty and a judge sentenced him to life in prison.